Hi, I'm Ron Greenwald, and this is my business partner, Patty Gerke. And we have a great show for you today. It is the holiday season, and we wish you all a fantastic holiday period with health and safety. And we do want to thank you all for tuning in in 2019, and we will continue this into 2020. Patty and I are really focused on advocating on behalf of our seniors, our older population, to be healthy, safe at home, and understand their options for their best quality of life. And through that, we have created the field of life. If you have any questions about that, please give us a call. We are on greenwallgerke.com, and we have a lot of videos on that site to help you navigate what's going to happen during your aging process. And we call it the field of life because we know life is going to throw you a curveball at some point in time. And we want you to be very educated on the options that are out there so that you can recover from any uh, curveball that might be thrown your way, plus that you will make the right decisions that's best for your quality of life. So with that, I'm going to have Patty introduce our guest for today. Our guest today is Angela Vitucci. She is a lifestyle wellness dietitian, and through her own personal experiences and her own illness, she's become very passionate about understanding what are the best foods to be eating, what are the best dietary restrictions to have, and from that, she has taken it to a whole nother level by educating others, which is her passion to share what she knows and what she's learned along the way. And Angela, we're really happy to have you here today, Thank especially you. as the holidays are approaching and we eat probably way more than we should of all the wrong things that we should. <laughs> but, you know, you're supposed to say it's okay if in moderation, but there might be some things that maybe aren't even okay in moderation. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the best diet um, suggestions that you have for a mature adult, especially as the holidays are approaching? Okay, so as the holidays are approaching, um, you know, I tell people, if you know that, we know that sugar is not good for us, we know, but this is the holidays. So if you could just save up, let's say, I'll eat that on Christmas, I'll eat that on Thanksgiving. Um, that way you don't miss that, but at the same time, you're not exposing your body to it all the time. Sugar and white flour are the most inflammatory foods for us. And uh, as we age, um, you know, we have things like arthritis and things like that. These aggravate that. So. If you can reduce the amount of sugar, actually you should eliminate it. I know it's hard at this time of year, okay? Yikes. So yeah, if we were doing this, this show in January, I'd be a little more uh, adamant <laughs> about it. Um, but um, uh, it's, if, and for some people, you know, you mentioned for some people they should never have that. If you're very, uh, have a lot of arthritis, you really need to get off gluten and sugar permanently. So, um, and you know, if you'll do that, uh, you'll find that when you do succumb and eat it, you feel so terrible that you'll now. Oh, oh, that's why I should. Didn't make do me that. feel good. Right. So Didn't make, now there's a there's you know a consequence to it. If you're eating it all the time, you're always inflamed, so you don't know. Ah, yeah. good point. So you don't you don't even notice, and you're going to the doctor for this pill and that pill, and um, uh, you know it might be as simple as what's in your refrigerator and in your cupboards. And did you, Angela, so you go in and you speak a lot at the Oasis here in San Diego. And if somebody in, starts and makes that New Year's resolution right. <laughs> January 1st and decides to eliminate some of these things that are very bad for you, what type of time frame should they expect in terms of seeing Okay, what a are you willing you to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because, yeah. again, our society is instant gratification, right? right? Even older adults, Patty and I. Of course. <laughs> and so what should be our... Um, Okay, so like if you came in to me for a consultation and you asked me that question, I'd say, Ron, what are you willing to do? How badly do you want to feel better? Let's say you had arthritis. And, and um, I said, are you willing to go full scale? Because you know, some people need to do all or nothing. And that's the way, that's their right, personality. Right, but they start in January all right, or nothing. Right, in January, <laughs> right. Well, because they're, yeah, right. okay. So, but, uh, but other people, that is not, a, that you have to take them in baby steps. So if you're going to do the baby step way, it's going to take you a lot longer uh, because it'll take us a while for you to even see the difference of taking these things out. So um, I would take sugar and alcohol out first, and then we'd go to gluten and, you know, different things like that. So if you could only do one thing a week, well, it might take us a year, okay. right? 
Well, I mean, just set expectations for yeah, somebody. Yeah, so it's just um, how motivated are you? And, um, you know, are you willing to read a little bit about it? I suggest books to people. So I find the more you know, the more enlightened you become. And then it becomes more of a choice instead of, oh, poor me, I can't have this, whatever. Instead uh, of, I can't have this, but I can have that. Right, right. And the, so there's also all sorts of alternatives. So for those people that are willing to cook a little, which some people are not, um, I, I, you know, I work with them and, and it, I mentioned these in my classes uh, at Oasis. Those classes at Oasis developed because a lot of seniors can't afford to come and see a nutritionist one-to-one. -one. And um, this way, for a very reasonable price, they're getting really good information. So that would cost them a lot more to get and up just, for. I mean, and we want to, I'd like you to share a little bit of your journey of this and I think that's okay. important for the audience to my know. Jo my journey, yes. So I just want to um, tell you how grateful I am to be free but um, I was very sick for 35 years and no one could find out what was wrong with me. I was depressed, uh, all my muscles ached, I was, um, uh, my, my brain was fogged, I couldn't uh, think very clearly and in the end this happened to be Lyme disease but I was misdiagnosed with uh, chronic fatigue and all these different things that many people are suffering from. So what I did to get better it are the things that I teach because um, it's chronic illness. Chronic illness is, has the same root cause, inflammation. We know that certain foods cause inflammation. So that's where we can start. You know, it may be that you need more than that. Maybe you need to see a doctor or a naturopath or whatever like I did. But there's so much you can do yourself for so reasonable cost, but you've got to be willing to do it. So, um, yeah, now there's so much information out there that it's much more motivating. And um, you, you meet somebody who used to be all crippled up and kind of, you know, from inflammation of eating wrong things. And then you say, oh my gosh, look at them. They're, they're great. They're doing, they've lost weight. They're, they look young. You do look younger when you're not in pain all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, even the countenance of your face. So that's, true. that's my journey. And so that's the passion about trying to help other people. So do you provide the list of alternatives and that part of your education? Because I think part of the problem is, is people, there's a lot of information out there, but a lot of times people don't know where to go to find it. Right. And they try to find it and they just get frustrated because they're not finding the information in a concise, informative manner. Which is why I developed the classes. Okay, so I put it in bullet form and I put them you know, so I tell people, for instance, let's just say we're talking about a diet, like the keto diet. Okay, you can't have sugar, you can't have flour, you can't have all these things, but eat this instead. And then I say, and buy this at Trader Joe's, and buy this, the cheapest place to get really good seaweed snacks is at Costco, believe it or not. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, plugging so, Trader Joe's and Yeah, Costco. so I just, no, I'm just saying that. And that's good. I tell them so they don't get lost in the World Wide Web. Uh, because there's just too much misinformation. There's a lot of good information on the web, but there's a lot of misinformation. And depending on the marketing techniques, and they know how to target us, uh, mm -hmm. us older adults. They well, know how to uh, do okay, it. Okay, so what would be the biggest misconception or the biggest misinformation that you are fighting all the time? The biggest misconception is that one pill is gonna cure everything. Okay. Okay, so like, um, uh, you know, from memory, because that seems to be a big thing. If you're not in pain, you're worried about losing your mind. You watched your mother or your father or somebody go through Alzheimer's or yep. dementia. Now we know that can be stopped and reversed in some cases, especially if it's just at the dementia stage. So they want to know, well, what pill can I take? Well, it's more than a pill, because if you don't do the diet. It's a lifestyle. The, right, the lifestyle, the, right. Unplugging from the electron. I mean, it's more than just diet. So, uh, but how much is your life worth? to you. You've lived more of your life than you're going to live most likely. Okay? So, now that now's the time that you need to pay attention to you and so the rest of your life is comfortable and happy and worthwhile instead of being in pain for years without your mind not even knowing where you are. This does not have to happen. So that's where I I try to fill a gap and help people find the information that they need. That's great. In terms of uh, supplements, what what would you suggest? There? Okay, so supplements. Oh, what a wide world. Okay, <laughs> right. So, but there's the wide some, world there's, of supplements. There's certain things you absolutely 
should be taking. Um, a fish oil or an omega uh, type thing, fish oil, some people are vegetarian, so they don't want to do fish oil. There's vegetarian versions of that. Your brain needs that. So absolutely. So, so if I eat fish two or three times a day. Not enough. Oh, a day? No, no, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> if I eat two or three times a week, no. that's really. Okay, let me tell you why. Because, first of all, it has to be wild fish. So it has to be like Alaskan salmon, you know, whatever. And um, uh, it's just not, it's not enough. So that you must. Vitamin D, absolutely. The doctor can even measure you if you're the type of person. It seems like everybody's low well on vitamin D yeah. these days. Yeah, so but, that's kind of funny. You know, what, how that's what does all... that do for? What does that? What, what, do for, what, what, is, what does D for do for you? I'm not D really, is really good not. for your. Again, these are. For, I'm all talking oh, about oh, ones oh, for oh, your brain. brain. Okay. The other thing is a, a, a balanced B complex, and that's for and not a, not one from the dollar store. Okay, it needs to be from <laughs> because there's fake. You know, they right now I know I know. Okay, so you want a balanced B complex, and the reason being is that when we're stressed, uh, we go through B vitamins, and in order to eat enough B vitamins from your diet, you would have to be you would have to be eating six or seven slices. I mean, of, of servings of whole grains, etc. I would be as big as a, a mansion if I, you know, did that. Okay, and uh, so, and and if you're on an anti-inflammatory diet, you've taken grains out of your diet anyway. Okay, so now you you definitely need to be complex. So those are the very base, the very basics, but um, uh, at least take those. Okay. What about multiple vitamins? You know, I think a multiple vitamin is a good thing because it's kind of like overall insurance, right? Uh, but it needs, again, to be one that's sourced with um, some natural uh, combination. So it, it's not going to be the one that's $3, all right? So, um, and, and really, to be, um, to be really effective, if that's all you're going to take is the multiple vitamin, you need to get the one that comes in six different pills a day because that's the only way they could get everything in it. So, um, yeah, I still think multiple vitamin is a good thing. Just I don't want to mention a bad mouth of brand here, but there's some brands out there that are not worth taking. All right. If they're overly colored, for instance, that should be a, a bright, you know, bright orange. So uh, if I what class would I attend at Oasis to hear the supplements? Part OK, of the I supplement. Think. Well, I tell you the supplements in every class. So if you were came to the keto class on the keto diet eating, um, I'd be telling you the supplements that go with that one. Uh, if you come to the one how to preserve your brain and um, preserve your memory, uh, that would be all the brain supplements. And I even tell you where you can get them, the cheapest place to get them, the least expensive reliable places to get. There are some places online that are very reliable and um, you know you don't have to pay the exorbitant co price at some of the stores. Do you use any CBD oils or any CBD lotions? So interesting or? that you mentioned that because <laughs> I, it's that kept coming up in class, all right? And um, so I kept thought, well, you know, I better educate myself on this. So I watched all the webinars and et cetera. And I, because of my knee pain, I did I did start with a CBD uh, oil product from a very reliable source of um, professional for doctors. And it's combined with boswellia and, and turmeric and all these things that also go. And I've been on it two days and I'm pretty pain free. So I'm a little, I'm pretty convinced, all right? <laughs> oh. I'm on the right track. That was track. quick. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So well, it's just, you know, it's just been too, but I was in t a lot of pain. Okay. So, uh, so I'm, I mean, you know, the, the research is, there's, there's a lot of really good information on it, but here's the deal. If you're just going to take CBD and you're going to eat sugar and you're going to eat white flour and everything, you're still going to have arthritis. You're still going to have pain. So again, let's 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 do a more holistic type thing. But I would encourage anybody. It's some it's it's. I was told by a, a doctor the other day that it works great for some people, not for other people. I just happened to hit the right combination, right? And um, uh, so it's you know we'll we'll see. I'm going to someday have to have a knee replacement, but I'd like to not be miserable until that time so yeah so i'm 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 pro but just not um just know your source know your source so that i just in terms of again we're in the holiday period alcohol how what can anybody do to I mean, if they're going to choose an alcohol is there an alcohol that beverage? you know what alcohol is sugar on steroids okay so there's no i mean if you 
Like, I'm from an Italian family. We always had a glass of wine uh, with meals. I don't do that anymore. But that's not going to hurt anything, all right? Unless you're chronically ill, and then every time you cheat, it's going to hurt you. Uh, alcohol is really one of the first things that you really, if you want to get well from inflammation, you got to give that up. So better one without shaming, you know, better a, a, a gin and tonic or a vodka just straight than a frozen strawberry daiquiri, of course, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, that's just common sense. But, I mean, if you're really looking to improve your health, it'd be a really good idea to... So am I hearing inflammatory sugar is... Yeah, is... it's always, you know, it's... It, Sugar is the most inflammatory, so it inflames your brain. If your gut is inflamed, your brain is inflamed. So, you know, you think, oh, I just have inflammation in my joints. No, you don't. You just, maybe, maybe you're still of sound mind, but it's, there's a process going on there, and we know this now. So why not be proactive and, um, you know, not wait till you're missing appointments and all that type of thing. <laughs> I know. I, like, with the holidays <laughs> coming, it's like I know. We should have done this. No, 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 no. We'll no. do a recap. In yeah. January. Well, you know what? We'll we'll push it out there again in Dan, in okay. December thirty first. <laughs> uh, starting tomorrow. To, starting tomorrow. <laughs> what about exercise? We really exercise is important. Okay, but you don't have to do this um, massive. Some people say, "Well, I, I I can't do the gym." Like right now, I can't do the gym with my knee. But just walking. If you walk twenty five minutes a day. And if you can't find the motivation to walk, I always say adopt a dog. Then you will have to walk and you'll find the motivation will be there because the dog will want to walk and the dog loves you. And it's just kind of a miracle with dogs and those dog people know that. So uh, anyway, but however you can move, move is the way to move. If swimming is your thing, then, you know, join the Y or whatever. But just as long as you move, that's the main thing. You do not have to do these crazy, you know, type, not, not in the, the later, if you can do them, great, but most of us have had to slow down from our younger versions of exercise, right? So. Well, we're trying not to. Yeah, well, I know, <laughs> but, you know, we have to use common sense, right? Our mind is still going. It's the body yeah. that's not following. Right. <laughs> but now we're finding people's minds are not, are not following, too. So that's why we want to make this intervention, you know. It's another motivation to, to not give in to an instant pleasure because, you know, you reap what you sow greater than you sow later than you sow. And, uh, that's a good know, way to put it. Yeah, well, that's, uh, I think that's a proverb from the Bible, actually. But um, it's, it's we, we never think, you know, oh, I'll eat this donut because it looks so good or whatever, Christmas cookie or whatever your ethnicity is that you have some, and then, and then two hours later, you start to hurt or you have a headache or whatever. Um, you know, at the time, you weren't, thinking of the consequences. So just try to make people just become, if nothing else, if you binge out like crazy, all right, this way, pay attention to how you feel after you do that. Just log that in and use it as motivation in January. And how does sleep come into it? Sleep is very important. So if you're not sleeping, all the vitamins, all the things, it, it's not, it's not uh, working. So you, you is need Is it a chicken sleep. or the egg thing? Is it? Well, here's the deal. <laughs> That's a good <laughs> so question. So if you tell me, if you, if you are not sleeping, I will work with your sleep before you're, you're um, getting you off sugar or whatever, you know, say you came to lose weight. Because if you don't sleep, everything, it's like not turning, ever turning off your computer, okay? You have to reboot at night. Sometimes sleeping is a, simply a dietary issue. You know, they're eating uh, coffee before they go to bed or they're eating too much sugar. Or it, sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a gut infection, parasites, yeast, you know, these things that can keep you up at night. So we need to rule that out. Then we have sleep apnea. You know, that's, you mm -hmm. know, so if, if I can't figure it out, then I send you to a doctor to figure it out. But that's what we have to take care of. That's foundational. You must sleep. And you should just sleep six to eight hours at our age, more eight, and, um, and in a dark room, no light. So if you need to have a nightlight on, you need to sleep with a sleep mask. Well, you can help oh, me not have to get up twice a night. <laughs> well, see, and that's the thing. That's even, an age thing, people. <laughs> even if you get up, okay? Now, part of that is how late you drink water during the day, okay? Well, right. So, or whatever you're drinking. And um, even if you have to get, it also could tell me your adrenal glands are low, okay, because they're not helping you stay asleep during the night. 
I'm not diagnosing you, but That's I'm just okay. saying Diag these are just things. Okay, so and and um, and then if you say no, it's always at two o'clock in the morning that I wake up, and then I'll say, tell me if it's worse at the full moon, and if you say yes, then I know we have to test for parasites. Really? Yes. The so this is kind of like more outside the box, but now we're finding, you know, I mean, people think, how did I get parasites? Well, do you eat sushi? Do you do you use public restrooms? Do you, I mean, it's not like we I have eat to... a lot of sushi and I use a lot of public restrooms. <laughs> okay, so you, you no longer have to go to a foreign country, you know, and um, this is, it's very easy. It can be as simple as you just use the restroom, you washed your hands, right, but right. the person before you didn't, you open the, push the door open and you put your hand right where that person put their hand. You eat an apple, in go with a parasite. So this is a specialty of mine because right. it was a very big part of my illness. And um, I just tried to tell people, you know, just be aware. Look, you deworm your dog, don't you? Don't you? I, don't believe, you I believe we do. Okay. So, so um, I think people should do an herbal type of parasite thing at least twice a year. Really? Yeah. yeah. It's very easy. Go to the health food store. They have it. If you have more, I mean, that just as preventative. I think it's it's very... You know, people on farms do this, used to do this, right? This is kind of stuff that's kind of gotten for, forgotten. But happy gut, happy brain, we know that. So if there's infection down here, it's going to affect now, up here. Do you have a web? I don't see it. I don't have a website. I don't have a website. You don't have a website. So, so how I, do people get a hold I'm, of you? Because this is okay, great information. Okay, so I'm so recently well enough to this person that you're seeing today <laughs> um, and that I just, you know, kind of jumped out there and said, well, how can I help other people not end up where I did? So I'm just, you know, teaching this. This is all very new. This is like my rebirth of my career. And well, um, so they can get through. They could call away so they can call me directly um, and um, or email me. I always give my email. Well, give, e give, 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 give your email. Okay. But I'm going to change it. But I'm going to let's use the new one. Let's do uh, <laughs> connect uh, Angela V. Connect Angela V at gmail.com. Connect Angela, Angela v, v as in victory. Yeah. At, at, at gmail. At, at gmail.com. At gmail yeah. So um, uh, and then you know we go from there. Sometimes people come to a class and they're like, Oh my God, I I never knew. How did you know this? Okay, this is what I learned in the trenches of getting well. Okay, so. Now, there are books on it, so you got to know to look for them, you know? And, and let me recommend KPBS, too. <laughs> There's a lot of really good whole lists. Dr. Axe, Dr. Amen, um, Dr. Mark Hyman. Uh, with their there's free information right there. At they Sessions. have shows on KB they have shows on KBBS. Yeah, they're like seminars and there's oh. you know and then they 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 promote their book or whatever drink. But they're excellent. I mean, sometimes I sit and watch that and I go, I just paid four hundred dollars to go to a seminar and that was better. So <laughs> yeah, because it was to the point you know where right, people right, can understand. Right, right. So I always encourage you, please you know watch those. Uh, Sem I guess they would be called seminars on on KPS. Webinars. They're usually or... on the weekend. Oh, okay. Oh, they're usually on the weekend, and they usually like Dr. Amen has like five different ones, and Dr. Mark Harmon has three or four different ones. So they yeah, and they repeat them occasionally. So. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have gone past. I mean, I was no, no, say, no. But I mean, I could. I love. I think it's a great topic. It's a, such an um, again it's like important. It's it's such really an important, important. topic. Yeah. You are what you eat, or yeah. you know. I used to believe everything in moderation, but even maybe that's yeah, as you there's age. There's no such word as moderation should, in the American culture. In American anymore. diet and you know, like that. I mean, okay, we used to say eat. You can have sugar in moderation. You know, we were saying for your birthday, for you know, that's you know, but now people eat cake three times a day, <laughs> right? They eat pop tart for breakfast. They eat something. Ugh. You know, I mean, people do this, I know, okay? I know. And then they wonder why? Why am I riddled with all this arthritic type? Um, uh, why am I stiff? Why, why don't I feel, why doesn't my brain work? So, um, you know, I think we need kind of a wake up, shake well, up good call. Good for you, good for and, you. We gotta get, um, we gotta get this you know, word out there yeah. to more and more people. Yes, yes, and you know, pain is a great motivator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it will, pain uh, is, Yeah, <laughs> it's like, sucks. okay, you know, uh, so, so more people are, and, and then in this age too, we, we, we have become more aware and uh, we're no longer dedicated our total career to raising the children or whatever it was that you had to kind of neglect yourself to do. We just want to raise dogs now. Yeah, right. Dogs are <laughs> dogs a really good investment. <laughs> I, of uh, yeah, they they give back more than you'll ever have to do for them. Exactly. So. 
Well, Angela, thank you so much for being here. Again, my brain is <laughs> going a mile a minute. Like, I got to really look at this because okay, I, have right. been, well, I have kind of gone off the deep end, I think, in yeah. our, the last few months because we actually have, we're, where we work now is there's food everywhere. That's another, okay, so I had a class on that, but I mean, how you, so if you know you're going to parties, I mean, we're kind of at the end here, but <clears throat> do not go hungry. Right. All don't right. go to the grocery store hungry. Don't go in the, right. Also, but not you know these these holiday parties are very. You're going to see some things come out that are only out at Christmas, only out at Thanksgiving. So if it's going to be a buffet, decide ahead of time what you're going to. Okay, what I really want is stuffing. Okay, or I what I really want is whatever it is. Okay, then 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 that's what you're you're not going to put everything on your plate because then you're going to feel oh, well i have to eat it now it's here right and there's no way you're going to be able to digest that so you'll find you enjoy yourself more and you don't feel deprived good for you so so on that note <laughs> we wish you the very very best holiday season we wish you well we look forward to seeing you and hearing from you in 2020 patty gurkey have a great holiday you too um, and thank you, you for well, joining angela. us angela thank you and this is ron greenwald thank you for tuning in senior stay or go tv